How's it going everyone? Brian Arvey here. Uh, hello now, how are you all? How are you all? Um, yeah, just wanted to make a quick video because uh, something just popped into my head while I was clearing the garden up. And uh, that is, if we just go to this screen up here, we have a lot of where is Kate Middleton at the minute. Right now, the Palace have released a couple of photographs of Kate and there's obviously like the, the internet is like alive with where's Kate and fake um, photoshopped pictures. This is all we're seeing all over the internet. At least it's it, it, it's all over my YouTube. Every video is this picture of, of Kate has been photoshopped. This one with the kids on Mother's Day has been photoshopped. But it all started with uh, this one in the car because. People are speculating, and obviously no one has seen Kate for a couple of months. I think it was either the 26th or the 28th of December 2023 when, when people saw her last. And uh, I had to make a video about this because it's, it's, it's all that is over the internet at the minute. So uh, the picture that's causing so much speculation is this one here with... Uh, with Kate in the car, supposedly. No, that one's not gonna that one's not gonna work out, is it? This one here, let me just make this bigger. So this one here, this was the photo that got released of um I think it's her mother, is it Carol, Carol Middleton? And then this is supposed to be Kate here on the right. Now when we get a closer defuzzed copy of that picture. It looks nothing like her. And over here on, on her lip, there's supposed to be like some kind of mole here, I think. But even to me, looking at that, it just, it resembles her, but it just doesn't look right, does it? And if you notice here, like the ears are covered, so we can't get any kind of ear shape going on so we can make any kind of comparison. Big glasses covering up the majority of her face. Very similar. But people are saying, you know, she looks like she might have gained 30 pounds, could have been down to the drugs and, you know, whatever. But, but allegedly she'd had some kind of abdominal surgery. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I've got, I've got my own uh, suspicions as to what's going on over there. Like I said to you, God is moving on the house of Windsor. And I truly do believe that. And um, something's wrong over there. Some, something is wrong. There's definitely... A problem somewhere because if not why not just produce Kate have her walking about or even sat about you know just a, a, a bit of video just for proof of life and uh, so that we can see that it's her because that does not look like her it doesn't look like her and there was this one shot which was taken I think it was released through TMZ in America and this has kind of come back into the British press through the back door. Very grainy, only one shot, all very, very strange. And I'm just wondering what this is all about. Is this being done on purpose to create a load of hype? Because we've seen some strange footage of, of William in the not so distant past. Of uh, I'm sure William was giving out some awards. He looked very dark around the eyes, very tired, and he was swaying to and fro like he was drunk or still drunk from a party on the night before. There's also talk about some other woman. I'm not sure who she is. I don't know whether she was the, um, the wife of the guy that got shot recently and then William didn't turn up to his godfather's funeral. All strange at the minute. A lot of strange press surrounding the royals. I mean, there always is, but the thing that's really sort of kicked everything off is this photo here that is supposedly Kate. Now, even just looking at the defuzzed picture, looking through those glasses, it, it doesn't look like her. It doesn't look like her. It could from afar like that, but... Even like that, it doesn't look right. Is it a wax work or something? Like, it just, just doesn't look right to me. And then I was in the back garden clearing up. I mean, look, there's a pic. Look, let's have a look. There is another picture here. Yeah, look, here's one with Kate, right, with glasses on. 
Right, look. Does it? Does that look? See that? You can tell that's her. And as you can see over here, you can see the mole on her on her uh, on her upper lip there, or just above it. Right, and the nose and every just everything about it. Like she's she's quite chiselled, Kate. You know, hair tied back while she's driving, earrings. You know, quite quite big glasses covering the majority of her face. But then, when you go back to the uh, to the other picture, you know, this one here. Oh man, sorry, sorry about this. When you go back to this one, it just don't look nothing like her. And this one's been defuzzed, and you know, you can see the face there. The eyes don't even look like hers. The nose looks more kind of pudgy. You know, it's not as chiselled. That that looks like waxwork. So it looks like they went to Madame Tussauds and pulled out a waxwork and props it up in the car for a quick shot as proof of life. Um, and then the one that's doing the rounds at the minute is this one. Um, and there's a lot of speculation about this photograph. This one's been released. And the funny thing is, is they've kind of pulled this one back. And, and killed this photograph in the press coming from the palace, so, so I've heard. Um, they've killed the photograph and got them all to stop using it, but it's out there now and people are looking at it. And, and there's a lot of speculation going on with this photograph. Um, especially here, if you can see that, look, the, uh, the girl's wrist there doesn't line up with the edge of the, of the jumper. I mean, it, it's... It's strange. It's just all a bit strange. Look, if you look on the main photograph here, it doesn't look lined up properly. I mean, it, it, you know, just some weird blending going on and um, something going on here with, with the hands. Um, this hand over here, the... Uh, is that the, le the left hand? The actual left hand is, is, is in focus, but the right one over here is blurry. And they're both the same distance away from the camera. Uh, stuff to do with these hands here in the middle. And the back of this skirt here. This this checkered bit at the back of the skirt. Uh, and people are saying that this is fake. And then the palace has kind of re retracted the photograph. A bit late now because it's, you know, it's out now. Um, but this got me thinking. I was in the garden. I was just clearing up and, and tidying up the dogs. And saying so came to me, it's like yeah, a lot of a lot of Photoshop speculation going round at the minute. Are they in the midst of setting something up? And then that got me thinking about Prince Andrew, and uh, the most recent thing here with Prince Andrew, and this was in the uh, this was in the Guardian, um, not too long ago, uh, Friday the first of March, twenty twenty four. The Royals bring on their B team, captained by Prince Andrew. Now you've got Prince Andrew up front, leading the family to do with some memorial here. I'm not quite sure what the details are. Uh, say what you will about King Charles' previously fanfared vision for a slimmed down monarchy, but uh, its injury woes suggest it could do with buying another striker. If that isn't how it works, then it's clear that despite thinking that they are the greatest fans in the world, many diehard royalists are simply not happy with what they're seeing out there on the pitch, and they're voicing their increasingly hysterical discontent. The King's cancer treatment and the Princess of Wales' convalescence from abdominal surgery have come at the same time, and social media posts are awash with the type of bizarre and brutal conspiracy theories in which so many of the Be Kind contingent specialise. Traditional media are trying to lose their mind with dignity, as so often before, tragically failing. The royal family itself is playing its second team. The implication of that, the implications of that, perhaps most eye-catchingly laid bare at this weekend's memorial service for the former King of Greece, as Constantine's godson, Prince William, had been scheduled to do a reading, but pulled out at the very last minute. So a lot of strange stuff going on due to a personal matter. So bring on the U70Bs. Right, so 
basically they had Prince Andrew leading the way. And it's like, well, where's this going? Because this, 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 I'm thinking Photoshop, Prince Andrew back out in the spotlight again. Um, and then that got me thinking about this photograph. And at the beginning of January 2023, uh, it was reported, as I had said, that this was going to happen. And I'm going to show you that video again in a minute just to jog your memory. Prince Andrew looks to overturn multi-million pound Virginia Dufresne settlement. The Duke of York is to make a legal bid to overturn the multi-million pound settlement he struck with his sexual abuse accuser, it has been claimed. And here's the photograph in question. Now, I have always said that that photograph is fake. And I'm not the only one to say it because we've got Lady Victoria Harvey, which I will play you again in a minute. I just want to go to this Telegraph, uh, <clears throat> this Telegraph article. Prince Andrew looks to overturn multi-million pound Virginia Dufresne settlement. Duke consults legal team after accuser drops separate sex abuse claim against US lawyer admitting she may have made a mistake. Right, so these are the beginnings of what I told you. I believe that it is all going to turn out like, you remember like the... Um, the Westminster VIP paedophile ring, and then they they tried to use Andrew Ash, pulled that one back, and ended up going with Cole Beach, and Cole Beach was made to look like a liar and a, a liar and a fraudster, and none of it ever happened. Um, well, this is what I believe they're going to do with Virginia because they wouldn't be releasing statements like this at the beginning of January 2023, and it's not like they were going to go and do it the next day. You know what it's like. They put something out there and leave it for ages. Do a little bit of press around it and leave it. And I believe that we're now coming into the time where they're going to overturn the settlement because otherwise they wouldn't be putting Andrew up front on something like this if they wasn't going to do that. And then obviously going back and all of the speculation with Photoshop at the minute to do with Kate and this photograph and obviously the speculation around that photograph, uh, you know, ev everything to do with Photoshop at the minute. The Royals and Photoshop are becoming quite a trendy thing at the minute. So obviously after seeing that and Prince Andrew leading the way at the memorial, um, it obviously brought me to the Virginia Dufre photograph, which I think now is... Well, it's the perfect time to say we're overturning the settlement. They've already put their beliefs out now that they believe the photograph is fake. I mean, Andrew did on Newsnight without saying it. We can't tell if that's my hand. OK, so they've laid the groundwork early to come back and squash this. Like I've said, I've always said that this is the plan um, and if I show you this photograph again, this is this is something that, well, this was uh, this was only a couple of months ago, but there is a video of mine which goes back two or three years, saying this is what they're going to do before he even announced over, overturning the settlement, and then they've left it, and now we've got all this Photoshop speculation, and this would be the perfect time for them to ride in off the back of that and say, this is photoshopped. Here's what I had to say about it a few months ago. This drop shadow on Virginia, you see this? All right, watch this. Watch. You ready? Ready? Watch this. Here we go. So what we do is we go to the photograph and then we go up here to layer and we go to the layer style and we come down to something called drop shadow. Drop shadow. Bosh, Bosh. Now, let me move this over. Now look, yeah? Now look. Oh, yeah. All right, and we can move that. They they could, they would have done all this. All right, look, watch. I'm going to get it the same. There, it's there. There we go. There we go. All right, let me sharpen that up a little bit, like with the size in there. So it probably went about there. And the spread was... 
was it like that or like that? And the distance. Let's have a look at the original. Where's the original? Where's the original? Let's bring the original in. Oh, yeah. Does that, does that look about right? You can even see the dark bit does now on the, sh- right on the shoulder. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just add to that a little I, bit I love more the black up. bit over the, uh, over the open window. It's fucking brilliant, that. Change that a little bit more. Let's get the angle completely right. Right, so the drop shadow is that way. Yeah. And then that gives us our line down here, which they've mistakenly put over the window. See it there? Look, even the shape coming off the hand and going down now. Look. <laughs> yeah? Look, even the bit going underneath her armpit. It's called Photoshop, right my head. Obviously, that's dark window, that line now. <laughs> so... That was me showing you how they've done that drop shadow. And one of the main things there to point out is that we have shadow going over an open window, which is a Photoshop mistake, clearly. And then we also had a, a good friend of, of Andrew's, Lady Victoria Harvey, but spelt Hervey, yeah? Uh, speaking about it, and this is what she had to say about it. And this was a year ago. Um, not sure on the exact date, but this was a year ago. So let's just show a little bit of this and what she had to say about it. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And let's talk about this famous picture, the picture that ultimately a lot of people say really implicated Prince Andrew in all of this. Do we have the picture we on do the have screen? A picture, Can yeah. you zoom in on the left-hand side of the shoulder where the painting grows into in his right shirt? Now. No. Well, that 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 little thing on the on the left-hand side of his shirt is this. It's actually such a bad Photoshop. It actually grows into the shirt when you zoom in on it. So the person that actually took the photo, I'm in contact with. And he explained to me how there's a double layering of the shirt. If you look at the left-hand side of the shirt, there's two, there's two people. They use the body double and Epstein. The hands are Epstein's hands. And I've actually seen the original, and it's Epstein's head. When I first saw the original picture, mm-hmm. I actually got really right. But if, if, if that is the case, and if you're so strong about that, and if you think forensically you could prove that, why would uh, the Well, we found this out after, after he paid her. OK. Yeah. OK. I'm th- So there she is claiming. Uh, She says that she's been in contact with the guy that actually faked the photograph. Let me just see if if, if it is on the same uh, on this one. Fortunately. Right, so Prince Andrew didn't feel he could challenge this in court at the time, which is why he obviously settled for millions of pounds out of court. I mean, he could come out and try and clear his name if it's as cut and dry as... He's not allowed to discuss it because they have a clause when they sign the agreement. He cannot talk about it. Mm. You've described Epstein as weird. Did you... There was just something off about him. Yeah, right, I get that, I get that. What about her? She's the one not... Never did any... We, we I can't say that. that unequivocally. That's not been okay, proven well, in I've, any but I, shape I've or spoken form. to people. There's lots that, of theories about I've it. I've spoken to four people that do post mortems. He had liver spots on his back, and that guy Nicholas came up. Uh, enough. Then. He's going to come out of there alive. And David's. I've got the pr- like. It, it's not a conspiracy. Basically, you know, the the mainstream news has just been like going along with this false narrative. This and that is Prince Andrew. Yeah, I mean, a, people will be suspicious. He's basically that you see a widespread conspiracy. No, it's not a conspiracy. Mate. I ha- I have the witnesses. I've got signed affidavits. I've got the pr- like. It, it's not a conspiracy. Accused him. I'm also in touch. With okay, her. okay, but also has a lawsuit against her. Mm-hmm. Um, a defamation right. one. So I'm well, in look- touch with all of them. Uh, are you still in touch with Prince Andrew? Because the reason I'm asking you that is he hasn't got a lawsuit against him. And, well, again, public eye, well, big stage. Yes, I mean, I really hope so. I mean, what he's gone through is is disgusting, actually. I mean, he doesn't even drink. And, like, Virginia's, you know, her her, her novel that she wrote, that her her fantasy novel, you know, she says, you know, he doesn't drink. I think, I think it's, it's on because I was being, you know, I was in con constant contact with his lawyer from when I started investing. So... Business presenter, stop saying actually or basically. You know, in a bit of a sentence, well... Will we hear more I, through the victim? You were there because yeah. you were Prince Andrew's girl. And... ...to me. Yeah. 
Um, I stayed at one of the apartments. I felt actually for sure that, so, you, know, you know, I know I blocked them and she would block them on to leave there. But about this famous hat she took the photo, I'm in contact. Left-hand side of the shoulder where the painting grows into her right shirt. Now. No. Well, that 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 little thing on the on the left hand side of his shirt is this. It's actually such a bad Photoshop. It actually grows into the shirt when you zoom in on it. So the person that actually took the photo, I'm in contact with, and he explained to me how there's a double layering of the shirt. If you look at the left hand side of the shirt, there's two. Okay, so she actually says she's in contact with the person that done the photograph, right? She's actually in contact. So really, you know, why would you not go ahead with that? And the perfect way to go ahead with that is with all of the speculation of Photoshop to do with that, right? So what I think that is coming next is going to be that considering he's just done that I don't know what you think but I know what I think and then let's just finish on Lady Victoria Hervey again on Lorraine and see what she says about it here of Prince Andrew and Virginia Griffey, and we can see Ghislaine Maxwell in the background there. She right. says it's a fake. Yeah. He says he doesn't remember it being taken. Um, and he's also, uh, he also said in that notorious interview as well, you know, he said, I've no recollection of that, but he never said it's a fake. And if it was a fake, why did he not say, why has he not said this long before? Well, I don't think he was allowed to say it as a fake because otherwise, you know, he could have had Virginia possibly come after him um, without having enough proof that it is a fake. Because that's the thing, isn't it? It's the How but they're all saying it's a fake. So the Royals and Photoshop is a bit of a thing, really. And, um, you know, why pay someone if you know the photograph's fake? Andrew's just being careful with his words, but as I said to you, that 2019 um, interview that he'd done with Emily Maitlis, um, we can't tell if that's my hand. Like I've always said, he's going to get made right on it. And uh, that is because I believe Virginia Dufresne has been an inside person from day one, only to have this story be shown as fake and made up and Andrew look honourable by paying her or getting the Queen to pay her. I don't even think, I don't even believe that she's really been paid. And then all Virginia has to do is have a couple of mess ups. So she's wrongly accused Alan Dershowitz, who was Epstein's lawyer, and now says, oh, I, I, you know, I, I could be mistaken there. That's all they need, just one little mistake like that then all of the press jump on it, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, she's a liar, she's a liar, and where have we seen that before? Carl Beach and Andrew Ash. And it's funny that Andrew Ash was trying to get me to get stories wrong about Prince Andrew when he was in the Red Rooms nightclub behind a secret wall in some off-the-radar VIP secret room with Ghislaine Maxwell in 1994 and Ian Puddick funded that interview with Andrew Ash and has even interviewed him himself which he's admitted to um, and funded that so that Andrew Ash could fill my head with a load of rubbish so that when I realised it was him in the red rooms because it was definitely Ghislaine because she looked in my face and uh, the best way to discredit me was to get me backing up Andrew Ash, and then obviously they called him David on Panorama and made him completely backtrack on everything that he'd ever said with the help of Chris Fay, who apparently is now dead, who also was with Cole Beach and went through the whole Xaro News routine 
where they was calling Andrew Ash and uh, Carl Beach, Exaro Nick. So this is all an inside job. What is it a cover up for? Whatever it was and whoever it was that I saw in the red rooms that night up in the uh, secret room behind the secret wall with Daniela in 1994 before we had our Christmas number one. And that is why you would have to discredit me and have me get a story wrong about Prince Andrew so that no one would believe me after I'd got it wrong. But I clocked what was going on. They swapped Andrew Ash for Cole Beach and since then it's just gone quiet. But I'm telling you that this is the build up to Andrew turning around this Virginia Dufre story because why put that out if they're not going to do it? They are going to do it because it was all set up to be made out to be fake in the first place. And do I believe Epstein's dead? No, I don't believe he's dead. And apparently, according to Megyn Kelly, a news reporter from America, there's more to come on Epstein this year. Once again, she dropped a little hint, let it go quiet. I think soon we got another little bombshell coming. But let's just sit back and see what happens with this because I think I know where this is going and all of this talk of Photoshop is going to lead nicely into this photograph which I've already recreated for you at least the drop shadow down the right side of Virginia and the shadow going over fresh air. I'm telling you now they've just swapped Prince Andrew's head on that body there on that shot they just swapped his head which is why he's saying we can't tell if that's my hand and that's it. So I just thought I'd put that together for you people. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.